Hello, welcome back family and friends to the Food Laundry. Thank you so much for tuning in today on a great delicious vegetarian recipe we're going to do today. I am making cauliflower vegetarian fajitas today. We uh, are, you're going to love them. If When you try these at home, you're going to love them. You're like, why haven't I done this so long? A couple of the ingredients today. We are using some fresh, sweet, I have a yellow, an orange, red, you could use green, whatever your local market has, doesn't have to be these particular peppers. I also have, as one of my ingredients, some fresh garlic today. I have a nice, sweet Vidalia onion. I have some fresh cauliflower florets that we've already taken apart. I'm going to slice these up in a little bit and show you how to do that. You're also going to need an ingredient like cornstarch, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, some, some ground cumin. Now you can use white flour tortillas if you like them. I personally like to use the white corn uh, for my finished product. So thank you so much again for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back to show you um, some of the processes and how we get these started. Thanks so much. Welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Food Laundry. We are on our second part of the vegetarian fajitas, cauliflower steak fajitas. So all we're doing is tossing a little bit of this uh, cornstarch in the cauliflower. I'm going to add a little bit of cumin in that and a little bit of sea salt. All right, just gonna toss those up like that. We're gonna get our saute pan really nice and hot. I like to do it on a big flame like that. We're gonna add our olive oil in. Okay, so we have our cauliflower steaks kind of still rendering here. On this side, I am going to use a little bit of olive oil and get our pan. The trick of caramelization with um, anything is like making sure your pan is very hot so you're getting that nice sear to seal in all the flavors or whatever it is that you're working on. So we're going to let this sit here for a bit. Let's check our cauliflower out. Excellent. This is what you want to get, a nice crispness. This is what's going to make that fajita taste like that nice crunch uh, flavor that you have. Yeah, these are coming out great. So while these are going on this side, we're going to switch them over to the other side. The ones that are done, get those going. Look at that, that came out really nice. Rotate these around a little bit. All right. Okay, so now it's quite not hot it yet. And we're gonna Okay, so now that my cauliflower is nice and brown on one side and getting there on the other, I'm just gonna turn this down to a medium heat instead of the high, just so it making sure it slowly cooks all the rest of that. You'll see the onions here, a little caramelization going on. I love that. Add sweetness. I'm going to scoot those over in the same pan. I'm going to throw these peppers in. Got some peppers and a little bit of the garlic I have in here. And again, I'm just going to just move these on top of here. There's no right, wrong, different. I love the colors in here. And I have this on, still on a high heat. Just 
going to break down all those fibers, get that skin cooked on the bottom part here of this pepper. I probably could have used a bigger pan for this one, but for now I'm going to do that. All right. Thanks for tuning back in. Uh, next up on our vegetarian fajitas. Our cauliflower here is ready to go. Our peppers and onions. I do this little trick. Some people don't care for this. They don't like to put it directly on their stove top. But me, I like it this way. So I'm just going to take a tortilla on an open flame. Get that going here. I like to have that grilled taste. Uh, you can put them, steam these have more, um, you know, softer, but I, I like this flavor. I'm just going to simply grill a few of the, two of these. That way, when I have both of them in my hand, it makes it easier to put more filling in there and it doesn't break down. I'm just toasting them slightly. All right, everything's looking good here. Over here, I also have a little bit of um, chipotle sauce here that I made earlier, and I'm just going to uh, drizzle this on my final product. Mm, look how beautiful they are. I didn't cook them all the way down. They still have some al dente-ness to them. Again, the cauliflower, this kind of dish, I personally like to use this um, as soon as I make it. The reheating of cauliflower sometimes can be mushy, so this is a, you know, serve as, as, uh, as soon as you finish cooking it. All right, switch those back over. All right, so here we go. I'm going to just place a little bit of my cauliflower in here. Put me some of those peppers and onions in there. I'm gonna drizzle that with a little bit of my chipotle sauce, whatever it is that you want to use on there. Hey, family and friends, look at that! Vegetarian fajitas, delicious. Let's now let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Excellent. All you vegetarian lovers, try this one out. You're going to love it. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Food Laundry. All you folks out there, be sure click that subscribe button on the bottom. Click a like and share this with all your friends and family. Thanks again. Peace out. We'll see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye.